hello guys so here and i'm back again this time we're going to be looking at the hsc budgeting tool so do you have responsibility for setting an hsc budget for your company the fact is that if you're a safety manager at some point you'll be required to set an hsc budget for the following year because top management want to plan ahead and ensure that they allocate adequate resources for your health and safety activities so this is a template that we design for planning and setting HSC budgets and for tracking daily HSC expenditures or activities to ensure that health and safety priorities are always within budgeted costs and are in sync with overall corporate strategy. So that is us safety professionals thinking like businessmen, making sure that our activities conform to the overall corporate objective of the organization. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now we have the approved list, like all our templates. This is the sheet that you can predefine the content of our HSC budgeting tool. So basically we've categorized the various priorities under like, um, We've categorized health and safety priorities under various categories. So we have activities that are related to management system. So we're looking at internal audits, external audits, supply evaluation, ISO certification. We're also looking at workplace ergonomics. So things like software assessment, workplace assessment, office ergonomic assessment. We're also looking at exposure monitoring. Under PPE, we have like um, over boots, over shoes, slip resistance, safety boots, tilt tools, chemical clothing, and the PP. So these are all things that potentially you're going to spend money on as a safety manager. Over here, we have the various um, priorities. So management system, workplace ergonomics, exposure monitoring, work, general workplace controls and all. And then we have the types of budget. So we have capital budgets, operating budgets, project budgets. Okay. So the activities must be related to this capital budget or in other words, capital expenditure has to do it. Things that are not opera operational, basically things like putting together a warehouse as a capital expenditure investing in some sort of expansion of the warehouse to improve aeration and workplace ventilation all these stuff are all capital expenditure operating would have to do with consumables so things like ppe and all the other things that you've been investing that would be depleting and you need to restock these are all operating project budgets has to do with like things that are related to a specific project we have the categories which is health safety and environment and we have priority which is high, medium, and low. All right, so the next is the budget planning. And this is where we plan our budget and present to top management. Over here, you can see his budget, HSC budget for 2020. Now, if given the fact that we are approaching 2022, you will potentially be setting a budget for 2022 to present to your top manager. So over here, you take your time to provide uh, provide the list of activities and the various priority areas okay that you want to execute and then you would provide the various categories 
whether internal audit is under management system, external audit management system, all the various types of PPE will be under PPE as we have here. Things like audio, audiometric testing per employee will fall under health and well-being and all these other stuff. Okay, you take your time to determine whether it's operating capital or project related budgets or expenditure. And then we have the priority. So you have to set your priority and whether it's medium, high or low. And then this is where you take your time to estimate the cost that you want to assigned to this activity so internal audits we are looking at one internal audit and a budgeted price for internal audit is going to be like 500 dollars that's all up to you if you are going to spend 500 dollars to carry out an internal audit because probably need to go to various sites and all of that so you have to estimate the price and the price the cost will now be determined over here and then you'd have to indicate the purpose of this activity. So the purpose of internal audit is to improve the management system. The purpose of external audit is to get third party assessment, supply evaluation, control, third party influence on your business, ISO certification to improve corporate image of the organization, software assessment to ensure software user friendly, workplace assessment to improve health, healthy work environment, office ergonomics to improve office safety and and and, and well-being or health you know all the various pp to improve personal protection so this is a very systematic way of presenting a budget to your top management and you can do some amendments but however this is a working template if you want to summarize provide a summation of it that will be all up to you however this is just a working template now the main working area is a source data the source data this is our daily hsc expenditure tracker and this is where we take our time to build a database of all the activities that we are actually carrying out as per the budgeted activities because this is what we've set out to do we've planned for them and now we are executing them so in the execution phase we take our time to select the activity that we carried out, that we've planned for. We provide the details of it because we've done it. And automatically you have this populated for you because we've already provided them here. And then we, the high and the low has already been pretty predetermined over here. And then the budgeted quantity and budgeted cost, they've all been predetermined here. Now, in terms of actual, you provide how many times you've already done it. And then you provide the actual cost that was spent on it. So you notice that um, we have indicated 150 as the cost. However, the budgeted cost as per our budget was 500. So there's going to be a difference of 350. Now, because there's a difference of 350, which is in the positive, then we are within budget. However, if we indicated that the 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 cost of the internal audit was 600 you realize that we've exceeded the budget and that is indicated as such here okay so this follows a very systematic approach you build a database of all your activities you provide the actual cost that was incurred and then automatically it's going to determine the status of the budget whether it's within budget or you've exceeded budget based on what you've already pre-determined here and once you are done completing your database of daily HSC expenditure, you go to the data tab on the menu and you click on refresh all. Okay, so refresh all will update the entire workbook. It will update the dashboard to update all these other graphs. And you have a very nice um, tables and graphs that you can utilize for your internal reporting. So let me just quickly show you how this works i don't want to waste time building a budget again but so assuming we've already set our budget which is this one okay because this this follows a very simple steps of sets providing your priority areas the focus area is a summary it's actually the categories of all these stuff and we've put the categories in caps so you can see and then you determine whether it's an operating capital or project 
related budget or expenditure you can change it to expenditure if you like because on the approved list on the approved list you can change it to expenditure or i choose budget all right and then you set the priorities sorry you set the priorities and everything now let me quickly get rid of the detail because this is where we'll be working most of the time i don't want to set budget again because i'm not an hsc manager you are the hsc manager you have to set your budget so i get rid of it okay now if i come to the dashboard um i click on refresh all and realize this is gone out this is coming from the budget that we have set it's coming from this sheet i don't want to get rid of it but just for the purpose of this tutorial because I'm, I'm going to bring back the data just for the purpose of this tutorial let me quickly get rid of this one as well all right and if i go to a dashboard and i click on okay so it's already gone it's already gone then let's bring it back because we need this guy these guys we need them okay so i click on refresh all it is there now i need to start build building a database of my hsc activities which all have cost implications so for example today which is september 13th i have had to spend on internal audit i've carried out an internal audit okay internal audit it's related to the management system and it's an operating um, budget or a operating expenditure and it's a high priority activity for us and what was the purpose of this our was activity we audited one of our branches we audited the procurement department to verify conformity with the procurement procedure okay all right and then this was the budgeted cost 500 but how much did we actually spend it was a one activity one of activity we had to spend 600 dollars i mean that was the amount we spent we've exceeded budget because we budgeted 500 now we've done 600 we've exceeded the budget which is not good enough so we come to the data tab, we click on refresh or and you realize that um, when it comes to the month of September, we've spent $600, we've exceeded budgets and it was an internal audit and all. And you can see over there that we've budgeted for, or the budgetary allocation, if assuming it was approved, was 1001, so $1,520 and we had to spend 600. So we are still, in surplus actually we've not depleted our budget and this is the dat one data point because we only input one data and that is it so there's a very interesting template for health and safety mm -hmm. managers who have responsibility over setting their hsc budget to present to top management for approval okay now this template can be customized if you want to change the currency it's very very simple you change the currency from the pivot table um, you simply click on this you open a pivot table analyze tab you click on you right click on this you open it up you change you go to numbers numbers and they change the currency you change it to whatever currency that you want to use whether it's pound or whatever All right however if you need any support we're always ready to support you if you want customization guys don't hesitate to get in touch sell here i'm always available to support kindly get in touch don't hesitate at all all right thanks guys and have a great day